All right, so today I want to show you how to import uh, my effects, the channel strip settings into your system so you can use it in logic or main stage. Uh, so let's say you just downloaded my effects, right? They are going to be uh, CST files and it's going to be in a folder and it's going to look like this after you download them. Now uh, click here, um, file and new finder window. And then go to your uh, user uh, folder and then go to music, then audio music apps, and then channel strip settings, and bus. And you just drag, I mean, select all the uh, channel strip settings and drop them in here, and they will be in your system. So now let's go to uh, main stage first. So let's say uh, you have your uh, your instrument, right? That's the instrument we're using today. It's actually a Mark One from uh, the Vintage Keys for contact player. Player. So go here in a sense slot and pick any uh, any bus let's pick bus one if this one is already used just pick any bus I'll pick one because they're uh, empty and turn this level up to 0 dB you can just uh, drag it or just uh, hit option and click on it and that will go up to 0 dB and then main stage creates create a auxiliary channel for us so on the auxiliary channel over here click on settings and then user channel strips and all of the effects are gonna be over here so let's just pick one all right So that's how you do it in main stage. Now let's close this and go to logic, which is gonna be pretty much the same thing. Uh, but uh, in logic, I have a piano. So what you're gonna do is click here on the send slot. Same, pick a bus. All right, it creates an auxiliary channel for us. So now uh, hold option key and then click over here and it will go up to 0 dB so then you are going to go here in settings and the auxiliary channel user channel strip settings and uh, let's see acoustic piano shimmer And that's how you do it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye.